It's the final day of uh, round robin play. And then tomorrow we'll decide the winner of this year's Scotty's Encounter. The championship pool continues at the Scotties, and this afternoon we feature two of the game's greats. A third Canadian championship, Rachel Holman. They are the best in the bubble. Rachel Holman has her team on top of the standings. Ontario looking for a third straight trip to the final. It's a win for the record books for Jennifer Jones. She broke one record here in Calgary, now wants to add another. Jennifer Jones is hoping a new look lineup will lead to a seventh title. It's a curling day in Canada Classic. Ontario, Manitoba, as the Scotties continue. Canada Olympic Park and off in the distance, Windsport Arena. Our final two days this weekend here in Calgary. Let's get you caught up in what happened last evening in championship pool play. And it was Peterson with a win over Saskatchewan. They got four and eight, one in ten. And Amber Holland skipped the Saskatchewan team for the injured Sherry Anderson. Ontario Holman with a four rock classic shot for two and ten and then stole the extra against Quebec. Alberta got three and nine for the win over Manitoba and a steal of four helped Canada win over the Fleury Perry team. So standings are like this and Holman by virtue of her win over Anderson earlier in the week seated number one at the moment Walker Jones at three the only team that has been eliminated from playoff contention is Fleury. And on this Saturday afternoon, we do say hello, Canada. Welcome back to Calgary. Cheryl Russ alongside. So what a game this is, Ontario against Manitoba. If you're Ontario and Rachel Holman, we know playing eight months pregnant, would you, if Ontario could somehow clinch the first place in that bye to the final, would you, in fact, give Rachel Holman a little bit of rest? No, I mean, at eight months pregnant, rest is probably the most critical piece for Rachel's performance going forward. And there wasn't a lot of that yesterday. Two back-to-back -back games, both went to extra ends. So it would be huge if they could win two today. It would put them into the final. They'd avoid a semifinal game. And they'd also give Rachel a much-needed, almost entire day off. Joanne Courtney, their lead, says uh, she doesn't know if uh, Rachel would want to take the time off. but. Courtney has said she's drawing a line at contractions. Then you are uh, you're out. Manitoba went uh, one and one yesterday. Uh, Jennifer Jones didn't look very good. Unbelievably bad. They went the wrong direction. There's no trending like they usually are. They usually do this at the start of the week. 63% in their two games managed to sneak one out against Peterson, but that won't cut it against Holm. There's not a chance. You look at the stats, it's her hitting with Jennifer that's struggling, but some of those hits are just too tough. She needs some support. That's our game when we come back. Looking forward to it. They're always good when Holman plays Jones today at the Scots. Just to stand on top of the podium with my amazing teammates and friends would be incredible. And as I continue on in my career, it definitely is meaningful to me to be able to win seven Scotties just seems unfathomable. Winning the Scotties is something that you always dream of and, and when you do it it's you'll never forget that emotion and different celebrations to win again would be unbelievable it would be pretty special under these circumstances the scotty's tournament of hearts is brought to you by new holland proud sponsor of curling canada by OK Tire and BKT Tires. By Scotty's, Sponge Towels, Purex and Cashmere. Proud sponsors of the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts for 40 years. And by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. And there's a little of fresh powder in the mountains and even on the hills here at Canada Olympic Park after a, an overnight snowfall. It's time to meet the teams now. It's brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. The Ontario Champs are from the Ottawa Curling Club, skipped by Rachel Holman and backed up by Joanne Courtney, Sarah Wilkes, and Emma Miscue. Manitoba, well, we know for many years 
in Winnipeg, the St. Vital Curling Club, Jennifer Jones, with Lisa Weagle, Jocelyn Peterman, Caitlin Laws. Coleman is out, has the brush down. It means that uh, Manitoba has won that draw to the button, and so they will have that all-important last rock to start things off playing the Yellow Stones. And to get us underway, the Ontario lead is Joanne Courtney. Well, I, I loved what Rachel said in the opening, that a win of this event in these unusual circumstances would be incredible. And she's not just referring to being eight months pregnant. She's talking about this bubble environment, lack of play, the expanded field. Team that wins this is going to have a lot of experience dealing with adversity and unusual conditions. And no Lisa Weagle. Well, that's the other thing. That story percolated and has been percolating since the uh, spring, of course. And Rachel Holman no sooner sat down last night for post-game comments, and uh, she was asked about playing her her former teammate. And she says, that's the game today. You we play against your former teammates all across the board, whether they be former you know, teammates at junior level or at university level or at the women's game. And uh, it's just part of the game today. And around they come. So let's take a look at the keys to the game and we will start with Ontario. So it's really about gathering intel. When Rachel spoke to the media after her two incredible extra and wins yesterday and the four fabulous shots, she said it was really her team. They provided her with the right information for her to make those shots and then tee her up. I mean, Rachel said it herself. She wasn't her best yesterday, but the team in front kept setting her up, setting her up and giving her opportunities. And that's the uh, the difference, really, when you go back to what Russ was saying when we first came on the air, is that the rest of the team wasn't teeing it up, wasn't helping Jennifer with her shots. And around they go with Joanne Courtney. Remembering now Manitoba does have last rock. Let's take a look at the keys now for Jones in Manitoba. Well, the leader, and ironically, that's Lisa Weagle for Team Manitoba, not Ontario. Uh, number one in stats, 7% over... Joanne Courtney, who's still learning the position, but that is absolutely imperative for Jones's chances of winning this game is setting it up early with Lisa. And then long guards, we witnessed it last night, Rachel Holman's ability to make those run backs, hits, doubles, just unbelievably tough. Make the guards longer. The longer the guards, the tougher the run backs. Keys to the game are brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like go, cashmere no bounce no bounce we're tapping yeah. here as we say good afternoon to uh no. okay kathy our uh, our old friend ray turnbull was as proud as could be of being a lead he didn't want to play any other position and uh joanne courtney now at lead feels the same way well certainly she does about being a sweeper she said i am first a sweeper and second a thrower and over the last seven years, she has worked with a football trainer to build up her body strength, trying to get that explosive strength to be able to brush as effectively as she can. During the pandemic, she said, I don't have weights that are over 100 pounds, and so I wasn't able to work with that. But what I was able to do is to work on my endurance, and that has made the biggest difference this week. And the other thing, uh, Kathy, just to uh, finish the thought is that she says a man's strength will come from upper body and a women's strength in brushing will come from the uh, your hips down so that's what she primarily has been working on some really nice opening shots uh, neither team uh, playing chicken here they're going right after it <laughs> there'll be a lot of rocks in play this game angles will be critical how you set them up Hustlin Peterman sneak this by, they did. Sneak it by one more. No. Sorry, Josh. Good scrub, guys. Good speed. Perfect speed. Just grabbed a pebble in the middle. It's still pretty fresh. Hard, keep going, keep going. Hard, keep going, keep going. Go, go, go. Hard. Sorry, Josh. Or just freeze. 
actually don't mind right here. Hey. That, what, what, top eight? Kind of even. Top four. I mean, you could play the tap and you could release that yellow back, but it's a little bit early to do so. You do that, you tap it a little too far, you might leave them a double and then a way to get out of the end. So I like the approach to set this up, keep forcing Jones' team to waste some shots. Sarah Wilkes throwing the second stones after the, the shuffle Wait, of last year's season. Lines great. You need eight foot. Joining this. Ontario side, Courtney moving to lead. Wilkes taking over at second. Wilkes coming off that championship year with Chelsea Carey in 19. Just still sticky down there. They wanted that top eight. They could have even taken it even to top four on a good angle. Half rock. Yeah, they just just inside the draw path, the practice paths for the two teams. Both teams caught. Across the top double, which might run the red into a bad spot. Sorry, Joss, my bad. We'll leave the, uh, one of the Ray Stones sitting covering the eight foot. Jocelyn and Sarah will be a good matchup. I mean, Jocelyn's 81% ranked number two, and Sarah's 80% ranked number three in seconds. And even tighter, sorry, it's covering the edge of the four. So they, by the Rays, unlock that right shot stone sitting T line, belonging to Manitoba, and leave another stone top 12 to be used by Ontario. Another overcurl. Trying to roll to the center and guard that red on the butt. It's either that or we play this. I think this is better. Hack. Yeah, I'll make sure. Okay. It's getting late enough in the end. They've got to make a move on this red-yellow combo, release it somehow. I don't think hitting that top one would make sense. No, and you hate to play it in a sense because you're shot, but it's frozen so perfectly by Ontario that they're going to play it, so you really have to play this. Make your move now. Yeah, roll it a bit, Josh. Yep, 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 roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. That's good. Ideally, less weight. You didn't have to remove your own. Same, the same angle, just less weight, and they'd have three yellow in the paint. Do roll over to be shot stone, though, as we... Updating you on the other games on the ice. We're playing on the outside sheet A. Trying to play uh, spoiler, Chelsea Carey against Beth Peterson, a couple of wild cards meeting there. One of the big stories this week, Laurie Saint-Georges from Quebec against the, the second seed at the moment, defending champions, Team Canada, and uh, Laura Walker against Sherry Anderson, and Anderson is back and on the ice after missing last night's game with a, uh, a bad back. They talked a bit back and forth about what to play here. Ontario's sitting pretty good, so I think they're just going to hit the open one. Interesting. Because I, I don't know where Manitoba goes. Ontario's kind of got them both ways, Russ. Yeah, that's very true. Hitting a back one is usually not the play, but like you say, uh, Rachel's hitting ability, she's quite happy that uh, even if the Reds moved, there's probably a double or a run double. Mm, I think so. What we witnessed last night, that, that, that wouldn't be that <laughs> tough for her. <laughs> her hitting this week, Rachel's, has been off the charts. Kick it over. 
really good, Caitlin. Let's call Jen. Oh, fantastic. Good. good. Great throws. Good pair. Good shooting for y'all. Dropping in on the game between uh, Quebec and Team Canada. And Canada does have the uh, last rock here. That's Kerry Anderson, the defending champion out of Gimli, 9-1. and one. And a win today, this afternoon, would guarantee them a spot in the championship Sunday. Well, a couple of moments ago, I'm sure Kerry Anderson thought she was going to be scoring three or four. She lay three across the house. But on Laurie Saint-Georges' final stone, she made the cross-house triple and roll behind the corner guard <laughs> to lie one. What a story. 14. Good judge. Nice, nice. shot, Kerry. Good. <laughs> She's in a pleasure to watch her. Yep. Oh, loves that game. So the early lead there for Anderson. Tempting the run back double. Rachel Holman skips stones here in one. I shot just the same. Those, those are difficult. Yeah, You got it. Again with it, and I think it. It, it forces your strategy a little bit, whether you're Jennifer Jones or anybody else that plays Holman. Jennifer knows full well, if she doesn't roll perfect here, it's a double. So it forces her to maybe roll buried here and take on a little more risk than she wants. Dead on, I think there's enough room. You have to roll a little right. Even quarter buried would do it. Agreed. And you're so right, you know, when you're making those kind of shots like a Rachel does, it makes, it just moves it up the line, the skip, the next skip has to make that next tougher shot. And, and all of these players have admitted that it's been a bit difficult to have that level of execution this early in the season effectively. Yep, whoa! No, Joss, clean. Doesn't have to curl, it doesn't have to curl. It's good, it's good, it's good, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, how nice. And underneath. <laughs> Just perfect. Good now there's to the point, uh, yeah. Jennifer, instead of just hitting it and figuring there won't be a double mage, he rolled to the perfect Shot. spot, but yeah. it might not be perfect yeah. if this rolled. Now you can't run your own back. Precise roll. It's, I think she'll be shot, eh? If she gets it buried. I agree, I think she would. And what's Jennifer do? Big shot. She'll be close because she just threw it. Final stone for Holman. Right now, Manitoba sitting the two. They do have last rock. Is there a hit and roll underneath? Stay with it. Now, bang, roll it underneath. Is there a roll? You bet there is and sit down. <laughs> that is incredible. It's been the story for Rachel this week, you know, 88% are hits. It's unbelievable. It's her go-to shot. That's 77 for Jennifer, 11% better. That's, that's takes the wind right out of Jones's sails. Like it, I guess Jennifer in hindsight could have rolled way over, but that she still would have rolled to there behind the red one. Uh, I, <laughs> incredible. Now you're worrying about scoring. Is there any concern, Cheryl, about this path? Only I re bring it up because we've talked often. All the practice, here is you're continually setting yourself up for the draw to the button for the last rock. Is there concern about the path? No, I don't. They would have played this during their last stone draw practice. So this path, they would know it. They would have some good intel on the speed and the line that they need. But you can see the draw weight has has not been there for Jones. Wait for full four. Lately. Line's perfect. Right there, right there. Good. Nice shot. Nice shot, Jen. Very nice. I think we've got something good going here <laughs> on this Saturday afternoon. Ontario, Manitoba. From Winsport Arena, all part of Canada Olympic Park. And the, uh, the legacy of the 88 Winter Games here in Calgary on this Saturday, the final round of the championship pool. 
Manitoba forced to the single lovely draw by Jen Jones means that here in two it'll be Ontario that does have last draw. They have the hammer playing the red stones. This all began a week ago Friday night. 18 teams in this pandemic year under the bubble. Two pools of nine eight game round robin and that ended on Thursday. The top four in each group. Each pool advanced to the championship pool then crossed over and so here we are on this second day of this championship pool and uh, just the two draws remaining this one and one this evening. Jennifer's got to be a little bit shell shocked. She made a superb hit and roll in, the, in an area with some fresh pebble, and then draws the pin for one. Like that's a, that's a lot of work. Tough first stand. Well, I'm sure that uh, Jennifer Jones thought she may have uh, have it set up for a couple in that first, but then Rachel Holman had enough room to do this. It just takes the wind out of your sails. You look like you're setting up so great. And Jen's first shot was incredible. She makes a soft hit and roll. She could have left a fairly routine double. Rachel makes this hit right behind the double guards, forces Jen to a draw for one. Key uh -huh. shot is brought to you by OK Tires. Service, repair, and tires. And then Jones followed up with a draw to the lid for the single. Those shots are so much harder than people realize it, it, it you know you're not quite sure how much break you're going to get because of the fresh pebble you have to you know where you want to hit it but you have to have the exact right speed if that was hit in the same spot lighter it's wide open heavier it's wide open just put both together the speed and the line absolutely perfect Well, we've talked about it a few times that I think the rotation on the Holman team and how they've worked on their releases really takes the guesswork out of where you're going to put that broom. It's almost like they put the broom down where they're going to hit it and it's off true. and on with the brushers and, mm. you know, waiting for curl. She wanted to get that covered because if you look, you got a little bit of the yellow on the right and there's an opportunity to roll behind the corners. Walker, Alberta, Anderson, Saskatchewan as we play here in the first. Laura Walker out of the Savile in Edmonton. Well, Sherry Anderson tried to corner freeze on her final and it's more beside it than on top and set up a potential double for three. By the guard. Oh, and does take it enough, move it enough. Three. And there you go. You bet. Three it is. Three Great red. start for Alberta. Four. Coming in at seven and three. Anderson, Saskatchewan, six and four. And a fifth I mean, loss would eliminate Saskatchewan. If I stop even short of that, Rob. But okay. Just teams getting caught near that center line, Russ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sarah tried that little. And the problem with it is you didn't take the guard far enough. That would have been the advantage. Yeah. Get off the line call and try and take it over. Bad break. Okay. Really tight. Line's good to go tall foot, but this finishes in there. Yep. It's just great watching these two teams because they, they, they're both so successful. Nine's caught his victories. Rachel's lost the last two by a shot. Um, but they do it differently. Uh, Jennifer's always played the finesse game and Rachel's been the predominant hitting team up until Carrie Anderson showed up. But Rachel's draw weight has got that much better over the years too. So it's, it's tough to find a weakness on Ontario. Yeah, she did. She played that power game for so long mm -hmm. and uh, then just bought in and said, hey, I sometimes I do have to draw. I do have to play something soft. Emma Miskew. I'll stay close. You could play the run back. Yeah. Yep. 
you might get everything. But because those, as you mentioned, Charles, those two corners are over there, they really want to tick and roll in behind. All the way over. Hard, hard, hard. There's no weight, like half? Yeah. No, there's no draw so path on the intern like side for Rachel. Guard those. Sorry. Okay. Same turn. Doesn't matter. I think the out turn's better. Okay, okay we just gotta make sure we cross. Yeah. Guard the pro side. Yeah. And definitely need less than hey? Yeah. There, it's going now. There's enough Got speed, it center. should get to the center <laughs> line. Hard. Hard, hard, Peter hard. Got it. Go, Josh. Got on. it, Josh. You got, got it. Come on, Josh. You got Please. it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Good. Really good. Good. Oh, good. Maybe a little longer if you know oh, who you're playing against. You. Yeah. <laughs> that run yeah. back looks pretty juicy, but they really wanted to cover that right hand side. Mm, true. Not give them any opportunity to play anything to roll over into the behind those corners. Running it back, Russ, yes. Getting them all going, yes. Do they all go? I don't think you can get the frozen one. Yep. You can get two for sure. All on its own. Bang. Oh, goodness. And now they squish one right underneath. And they're two buried without last rock. Just go high. I'd switch. I think my draw is about nice. It's close. I eh? think so too. Yeah. Come yeah, around top nice. four if you can just They're tuck a piece. Button, and don't leave a raised triple. <laughs> <laughs> Such a tough game to play when that's what you have to well, watch what you're leaving. It's just in a, it. In a battle of wild cards, yeah. uh, Peterson the Same with the early lead against Flurry Carey. Carey already yeah. eliminated. Peterson trying to keep herself alive. It's kind of a line shot. Again with these. Uh, Blue hone inserts that they polish themselves, and with high speed, you can make anything. Okay, San George against Anderson. San George, he talked about that triple to get her herself out of trouble in the first. Anderson leading one nothing. Well, she's lying too. So for Laris, she tried to corner freeze on her first, just bounced off a little bit, and Kerry Anderson able to pick it out. So a draw against two needs a piece of the heart. Roll over, not enough. Doesn't grab enough. So Anderson will pick up the steal of one. Good throw, Jen. Pretty good. Yeah. Mine came up a bit. I like those three quarters high. But you've got to be, if you, to my mind, if you're Jennifer Jones, yeah, you, you know, you had your pocket picked, I think, in that first. Great shot by Holman, but you've got Holman at this moment chasing you the entire end. Oh, you do, and and I to make sure we, I could have got looking at three side. right now. She's yeah, got a chance for an angle. You hit this high side on the right hand side, you might make the yellow yellow double and be somewhat behind those red guards, but it would open it up. You might even you'd be close to getting the back one too. Triple. It's, it's not a perfect triple, but it might be there. Wilkes, late licks. Garrett, oh, oh dear, and just, just kick it sideways. Opens up the shot rock, just misses it. Back four. Little bit more brushing. You get, oh, jeez. Oh, Great shot. You know, pe people would wonder why you don't play the straight nose run back double, mm. but then you leave that center guard. Yeah. Jen wraps around it. Just a great call. Brilliant. On, on the side. So. It's hard. Oh, so it's biting on the side. So, you like that ice? sitting third shot. It's hard yeah. to say. Uh, you know, we've watched Rachel for so long and so many when she gets on a roll, but I, I don't think she's hit any better than this week. Enough room to get this. New path, though. Easy board. Oh. No. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Yes. Hard. 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 
Weagle. Oh, 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 Peterman. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Yes. Oh, roll it. Roll it. Oh, oh, oh. oh and they'll roll it over okay. on top. Lovely. Nice call, Colvin. Okay. Sweet. Fine call. Thanks. Really good. Walker against Anderson, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Kathy. Well, and it is four red that belong to Alberta that Sherry Anderson faced. She tried to play a hit and roll on her first, but rolled out. And so Laura buried Whoa. for oh Sherry will have to yeah. tap the shot stone back yeah. about a foot because it's at the top of the hearts. No way to score unless she does. Missed last night's game due to a bad back there. The fishtail started to weave on her a little bit. Wow, did manage to move it far enough? No, not quite. So steal of one, Alberta four nothing. A fifth loss will eliminate Saskatchewan. We already have one team at five losses, and that's the wild card team, Flurry, Carey combination out of East St. Paul. Tough situation, Russ. You'd love to draw for your single. But that guard on the right, your own stone is in the way, really, of the draw path. Yes. Very similar to roll. Okay, yeah. No, is our hair low? Yeah. Okay. So there's that much break, you think, if you play the out turn, that that stone on the left, as we look at it, would get in the way. I, I think yeah. it would overcurl, so forced to this double. The problem with the two Vic is if you do rack, it's a steal of three. Whoa. Final stone. Close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Close. There is that outside yeah. biter. Keep in mind. Yeah. You pick a little bit. Uh oh. You no, and now this has got to settle down. This has got to sit. Will it come back? Oh, have a look. One for sure. Steal a one. I'm sure they'll measure it, but it looks like one Vic. I think you're right, but uh, I think it picks. So they're. They deserve to have that one hang on. I think red second. That's unfortunate. Picked. Yeah. Had it. <laughs> and the skipper says it is Ontario Stone. Solo. Manitoba picks up a steal of one. Manitoba against Ontario, that's our feature on this Saturday afternoon of Championship Pool. Manitoba with the lead, 2-0. One with the hammer in the uh, first, and Rachel Holman missing the run back. Stone picked a little bit, steal of one. So once again, it'll be Holman. And the team from the Ottawa Curling Club with last block, they have the hammer playing the red stone. For Rachel, she just needs a little bit of support up front. She was looking at three, and it was a tick by Sarah when she was trying to come around and maybe tap the Jones Stone, and then Emma wrecked, and now you're looking at a ton of shots. And you mentioned it in the break. They did. The intern was catching them. Everything everything overcurled, including the last one. It might have grabbed something, but they had missed two previously in that same spot. What a nice shot from Joanne there. I think she learned that from Lisa. <laughs> Ticks it over, opens up the front, three corner guards, two stacked the same color on the one side. They've got a nice chance now. I can only yeah. imagine how many times she's practiced that since she took that position. There was yeah. no way she was going to be good at it. Whoa, 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 good. Nice spot. How do you think this is going to run? It's going to run pretty straight. Okay. Yeah. Good day. So Ontario. That win, the last one against Anderson on the Thursday night to wrap up the nine game or eight game round robin, that gave them a big advantage. And then back to back wins yesterday, now on the Jones, on the ice against Jones. And then they play Saskatchewan tonight. Now yeah, get them both. And then now there's a little stagger to work with, too. Oh, that's nice. Opens it up. What do you like here? I don't think you can nose it either. Uh, Get rid of both of them if you're Jones. I like that. Top four. Hey, maybe a hair slow cross. Game on now. Oh, you want this berry, but it has okay. to be in front of the T line. Okay. Line's good. 
Yeah, Lee. Top port. Yeah, Lee. Yeah, Lee. Top Hard top. line. Hard line. Hard line. Top it. You got to go. Hard. Never off. Never off. Hard, Lee. Hard. You got it. You got it. Go, go, Hard go. Hard go, Lisa go, Weagle. Go, go, go. Caitlin Laws. Oh. Hard. Oh, gosh. Okay. Now, is there anything okay. left in that up. stone? And no, it'll finally die. Top edge of the eight. Throwing an ice reading. Oh, Jennifer nice. knew yeah. almost immediately that was going to be tight. Oh, this Never was off. just a paper oh, rub. You got, it. you got it. Go, go, go. They get go, that go, by, go, and go, go, go. even though it wasn't going to be go. top four, it was going to be a great spot. Oh, okay. Okay. Good scrub. Solid. Good hack. Sarah Wilkes as we play the well, uh, last uh, of the uh, second stones here in the third. They're heavy. No, then. Whoa. It's good. Uh, gets and that center line and it hard, should hard. go. And across the nose, no, it just sits right there. Good way call, guys. Board. Okay. Manitoba at seven and three. They had a good round robin. They got away with one against Beth Peterson. Peterson had a chance for a five. And then later in the game, despite the struggles, of uh, Jennifer Jones, and then they lost last evening to Alberta. So they're in a, that's precarious. Three losses, of course. Trying to avoid a possible tiebreaker, but have the adver early advantage here up nope. to nothing. Good, Caitlin. And that's look good. at that. Is it gonna pop Caitlin. out? Sure does. I think I, they wanted to roll behind the yellow. I would have hit it dead on because you know what Rachel's going to do. More She's gradual gonna go. than the first in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Caitlin's point didn't curl as much as I guessed. But now in behind three guards that you cannot possibly raise. This is, uh, this is uh, juicy, isn't it? That's to get around a stagger and it's your own? Right. <laughs> You gotta, gotta curl. Really gotta curl. Help me. Six, seven. You're heavy. One of you, one of you. You gotta go. Hard. Yep. We're in a little heavy they are as they get to a four foot T line. You like just freezing? Sorry, just a little nice. You like hack? Am I right in thinking that they didn't get Cheryl, the kind of finish you might have expected? I think, I I think like it was hat. just a little bit too much weight, okay. and they were brushing for the line, so bad combination. It slid a little deeper, so gives yeah. Jennifer an opportunity. I think she's looking at hack. Caitlin said on hers she thought that, that the pebbles started to wear a bit. There's not as much bite, so they're just going to have to tighten the broom up a hair. Easy, 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 Should be able yes. to hold this one, too. Oh, here goes up those two guards. Get it by there first. They did. Now, where's this going to go? And it'll just sit there, top button. That went. That went more than the draw. Yeah, I, I just finished saying I didn't think it would. And, you know, that was close to dead on with the weight. She didn't underthrow that at all. Now a chance. Chance to roll under. Going to be that much higher in the rings, too. Emma Miscue will give it a go. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Clean. Go. You're heavy. Go. Sarah. Sarah. All the way over. It's like board. Yeah. Just can't get across the nose. That that was probably well thrown line-wise, but that was 8, 10, 12 feet harder than uh, the previous stone, and that made the difference. Lightning there now. Yeah. That's what happens, isn't it, right? First end, that comes down in speed. It looks perfect. Now it's just gliding that little bit farther. It's been a common theme that mm -hmm. players have all said, you know, it's third rock down this path. You really have to be aware of that. Speed picks up. More so than a curling club, I've noticed. Like there's, there's not as big a difference. Even if we don't dead bury it. Well, Quebec has uh, replied after giving that up that steal of one for a single in three. Team Canada leads there now, two to one. Jen makes this roll and it'll be above the tee line. Can't freeze to it. Mm. And behind a wall. It's 
So it's slickened up here a little bit, a little bit straighter. This time, yeah, this time they do get across the nose, but it'll, it'll pop. Funny spot. Like yeah, stuff it's going and stuff isn't. And I'm yeah. guessing it's crossed the line and, and sooner than the other two shots. The speed was there. It's tons of speed. No, it's bored. Once Good. it's gone, it's gone too. Jennifer has a little less rotation than uh, Emma and uh, Caitlin. To get it that line. Huh? Back. Let it work. Yeah, we just have to eight. be shot. Just no more than back eight. Sarah. Let it work. Yep, yep, yep. And now take it back. And back for shot rock as they sit back eight. That's a finicky little spot. It really is. You're not quite sure. Well, last end, the team Holman wrecked Runs on everything forever. down the middle. Let's see what they say. Shoot. Nothing. I think, <laughs> Vic, it, 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 Caitlin mentioned it on her head. It's starting to keen up there. It's starting to get a little straighter in every shot you throw down there. So yeah, somebody at home says, well, why can't Holman figure that out? Well, nobody was drawing there. They were all hits. So she had to guess on the weight of this there. And it just, with all the brushing down, that one path, four or five in a row, makes a difference. You need to the four for sure. Like, sweet for the T line regardless. That's all there. Where? Stay close. Yes, the line. Back four. Yes. A little less rotation. Jennifer's will bite in more. And you can see the movement. Watch that line as it gets to the center line. In a hurry, it gets to that line. Keep going, keep going. Watch the over curl. Try to hold it for her. And they do. Oh, Jocelyn Peterman has already said how much she's Learn from uh, Lisa Weagle quickly, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Kathy. An opportunity for Sherry Anderson for two on her final stone. Laura Walker tried to hit and roll underneath and got a little bit of a roll, but it is pretty much open. So nose hit for two. Rachel Holman. And the last. Here in three. Mine's good. Mine's good. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Uh, did you cook it? Uh, looks like they may have had it. A steal of one, Manitoba back to back steals. From Windsport Arena here at Canada Olympic Park on this Saturday afternoon, and uh, it's been Manitoba for the score of one in the first with the last rock, and then two. Executive steals three nothing they lead once again Ontario with last run playing the Red Stones and Joanne Courtney throwing the lead rocks for Ontario. You know, talking to her before the game, I asked her, you know, I said, okay, you're playing Lisa. And she's, you know what? It's the way the game is today. People move from team to team, and we had six wonderful years together, and I've learned a lot from her, and I hope that will never diminish our relationship. You have to remember, too, she was part of 
what was at that time a little bit of controversy after back to back silvers with Val Sweeting who came calling Rachel Homan mm -hmm. and she couldn't resist the offer and then she left to go with Homan so it happens in the sport now it does and I think the important part is as well said by Joanne you, you did a lot together mm -hmm. and those memories that journey that's something you don't want to forget Got a center. Oh, center. our, our journey line. together, the three yeah. of us, and really I'll take tight. that with me. And Actually, a little finish. Yep. Finish. Wow. Oh, <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah. Perfect spot. <laughs> <laughs> You're not leave, <laughs> losing me that. <laughs> You're sentimental there for a minute. <laughs> like, are you leaving? Where, where, where are you going? Yeah. Really good teaching point last end. There was something like six, seven shots, uh, one draw that ticked, and then there was a series of soft weight hits that were brushed all the way down. They just warmed that path up so much it fooled Team Holman. And and that. Roll it up hard. Listen, hard, hard, it can't happen to any team, I, I suspect. But that shouldn't happen to an experienced team like that, should it? No, no. But it, it, it I, I think it was a perfect storm. Uh, Jennifer made it with less rotation, so hers is going to grind in and die. Rachel's is always positive, and they jumped it early, which you're right, shouldn't have happened. And then they figured it out immediately the after they jumped it, but it was a combination yeah, of foot heavy, okay. lots of rotation in a really slick spot. It's happened to all of us. Nine's good. Hear more. Okay, clean it. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Clean it. Line's good. Off. We're gonna need some finish here, Lise. Wait as long as you can. Oh. You can wait. Got a bite center. Should get there. Should get there. No. I don't want it no, in. No, I don't no. want it in. Can't be in. Nope. Okay, Joss. It's downhill today. Oh, very nice. And look at all the rats. <laughs> That's what I would start to be concerned about if I was Manitoba. Nothing hooked either. Or just come around. Sure. Oh, boy. I think it's all good here. I kind of liked the nose, Russ. Oh, I think so. It's, uh, you know, how many times we say control the front? That yeah. would not be Team Jones at the moment. Well, and then I think the worst part is it's a really short run, even if this is made to top four. Line's good. Line's good. You got room. Need floor. Line's you know, I think back to that. Uh, Line will get think back there. to that second, and it was setting up well for Ontario. They had the staggered Line's guards great. that they could go around Line's with the outturn, and finish. they didn't take advantage of it. I mean, it's one thing here. We haven't okay. seen this Ontario yeah. team really take advantage of their situations yet. No, and that second end was a lot of ticks and misses too on that intern and it just, the rocks built up. And Jones team, I mean, they're playing incredible. Rock placement has been precise and it's forcing Homan's team to some very precise shots back. Well, here again, Russ, I mean, you're Homan and you're chasing again yes. and you're playing a run back again. Yes. But it's three. They're down three. I'm shocked at this call, to be honest. I'd, I'd be tapping that buried and rolled buried. Okay, you're close. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Like playing a split on it. Yeah. They, you know, now they've staggered up the red ones. They don't have anything in play. They're down to three rocks to score their two. And it's a free guard. They could have tapped that into maybe towards that buried one on the side, Cheryl. The shooter would have rolled towards the other one. If they get lucky, they've got two buried reds. Everything's wide open. Interesting. Line's good. Make sure you're tight. You're gonna, have to go for you're gonna need to curl. Now they're gonna have trouble scoring, Cheryl. Hard guys, it needs to finish. Wait as long as you can. Gotta get to center line. Go as long as you can. Closer to the stone. Not in. Not Weagle in. now will Not take that either. leading edge and try to help it over, having to learn to brush on that side as okay. she replaces okay, Don McEwen. As we go and say hello to Kathy and bring us up to date Quebec and uh, Team Canada.
Well, the shot stone is Carrie Anderson, that's for sure. They are not sure if it's third shot that is theirs or it's not. Us. So she's playing yeah, a soft well. weight tap on the we'll second wait. shot stone at the back of the house, we'll and then they'll take a look to see well. whether this is for back two back. or for three. Anderson was lying two most of the end. Laurie St. George just jammed on her final. Oh boy, and okay. that may be a oh, that is giveaway. Shot. Just one. So settling just okay. for the single. Sorry, it was pretty close, actually. It might not have been worth it, Kathy. You know, I know. You draw I thought, these, just draw. Put you up 4-1 four, uh, four, if you draw. Yeah. Okay. It's a little tough hole to navigate here. So three slight errors you know. in a row. I yeah. thought uh, Holman could have played the spit, split, and then uh, <laughs> they came too deep with the, that last one, allowing the uh, the double. Yeah, we heard it. The spit. Yeah, yeah, we, heard yeah. It. yeah we heard it. Yeah, we heard it. I said spit. <laughs> They tried to recover, but you know, those things, uh, yeah, they're they, we, <laughs> too close. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My worst was sitting in the forefoot, so that's okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> Take that one out. Yeah. You got it. Hard, dogs. Hard. Ah, uh, dear. Hard. Trying to make this. Going to get it through. Oh, no, they did. Go, oh, go, 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 and around go, go. they go to sit too. Didn't think eight. that had a Sorry. chance. Oh. That was a small port. Jennifer's right. feeling the draw weight. Hard! Go hard! Caitlin, go, 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 go! Good, Good sweep, guys. Yeah, which, again, further to your point. Good sweep. Russ. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you play that split as you suggested. That red one would go one way, shooter would go another, both behind cover, and now that yellow's not behind anything. Exactly. Yeah, and you and you would have been shot in second or third, and it, 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 the yellow's okay. hittable too. Yeah, I, I was really certain. You know, it's easy up here. So. The problem now that I, I'm sure Rachel can make this, but I don't think she'll be shot rock. Go. Go. Oh, now across the top, and again. Leaves that uh, yeah. stone belonging to Manitoba, shot rock, close, edge right? of the eight, and another chance for Manitoba and Jones to come in. And they've got all kinds of options now. They can go here and make uh, Rachel's tough. They could go a little higher, might even be better. And now it probably has to be a uh, raise of some kind. Like, or you could even just guard it. Yeah, we're crossing. Guard yeah. the hole. I like that. You're always taught when you're, you know, you're down three points to instead of removing stones, tap them back, move them around. Right. And uh, hitting yeah. and running stuff back isn't yeah. going to set you up for a score. Yeah, okay. It won't slide any better here. No. I guess a tight guard doesn't work. You can get at that yellow and blank. Top four. But, uh, yeah. It. Yeah, it's funny. It was a funny way to play it. Her championship, Scotty's ring. Podium teams this year will get their rings as per usual, but the, the jewelry handed out this year is different. Only the teams that actually won their provinces or territory to qualify will get the jewelry this year. Get it in there. Yep, 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 yep. And around they go. Lovely. Definitely feeling it. Really nice, Jen. Good. Patient. Good pair. Yeah. Like tight line. That's not curling as much. Sorry? Like take the tighter line. It's not curling as much. All of our runs, right? Yeah. Like back four. So have to kind of rub off of it. Okay. Like back four? Yeah, back four. Back four. Interesting. Okay. We, we touched on it the other day with Saskatchewan that Saskatchewan is going out edge of 12 and getting to the button. Everybody else going edge of the eight. You just heard it there from Emma. Take the tighter line. It's not curling as much. So it's a little bit dished. It's a little bit higher in the middle. You're getting more curl out wide. You can't afford to go wide here because it'll never come back with weight. It'll wreck all over that red corner on the right hand side. You know, I mean, listen, I understand and it may be, but Cheryl, they just, they're not 
Ontario at the moment decisive about their calls? Well, I think it happens when you give up a couple ends of stolen points and the opposition is making you play some very tough shots. This is back four, maybe a little rub. A little light. There, a little light. Go then. So a little oh, light, here they go. Wilkes and Courtney, six. remember now they oh, overcooked okay. one in. Go. <laughs> they give up the steal of the Take single on the third. Hard, this Take is a light. saver. Hold the light. <laughs> Keep going. Look out, and it'll overcurl again, and it'll be a steal of one more. Not sharp so far, Ontario. Get one, steal one, steal another one, steal one more. Four nothing, Panitoba over Ontario as we welcome you back on this Saturday afternoon. Rachel Holman currently tied for first place at nine and one with Team Canada, but by virtue of her win over Carrie Anderson, seeded number one at the moment. In this uh, eight team championship pool, and unlike previous years, unlike so many things in this year under the bubble and this pandemic year no page playoff just the top three teams will advance to tomorrow's medal Sunday didn't quite work out but I like that call by home and it was you know back eight weight trying to roll the guard just tap you're not trying to eliminate you're trying to just tap some stones back so you can use them Top 12. Yeah, it seems good here. We'll yeah. manage it. Just let us on the line. Yeah. Line's good. Okay. Thought I was all there. Top 12, top eight. Room. Top eight. Room. On the red, on the red. Top eight. You can't. Caitlin, try. Yeah. Try, top Caitlin. Four. Top four. Try, Caitlin. Try, Caitlin. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. Help it over. We're by. We're by. Oh, goodness. Just oh, that yeah, little late it. scrub. Go, 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 go. Good. Oh, and in and underneath to sit the three. Just nothing but pressure right now from Manitoba on Ontario and Homan. Can you get there with I think so. Keep a look at the loss numbers. Five will put you out. So it's a, a must win for Saskatchewan as they play Alberta. Well, facing two on her first, Laura elected to try to play the freeze. Sherry Anderson blasted it out and left herself lying two. So this is in the same path. Same draw, needs a bite of the eight foot for a single. Same path. Yeah. Quicker path. Possible problem path. Same path that she threw on the first. Okay. Set, baby, set. Heart, don't wait, don't wait. Okay, Laura. Steal of one. Yellow? Yep. Boy, that's a big point. Yep. Good end, guys. It's good. Really good. That'll make the back feel better. Sherry Anderson missing last night's game. Gotta go hard. Get to the line. Get to the line. Oh, good call. Oh, good. Nice hey, shot. Nice call, Rach. Really good. Yeah, you can help the team in so many different ways. We're one, two, and four. They're third. Yeah, I think the corner's gonna kill. Do you like peeling that out? The one in the house? Yeah. Do you have any? Uh, yeah. I have half. Is the yellow kind of the wrong way though? I don't mind this either. That's Do you like the that? Mm, I like that one okay. too. But a third. You make this perfect. Guards are gone which is huge. You drag the plane into the rings, then you're in really good shape. And you might even roll in the rings here or guard the shot rock. And that's the only rock, that corner, that really could get you in trouble. Hard. No question. Peterman. Hard! Hey, whoa. Again, laws. Over the top. I don't know. Uh, what are you doing? Got that one. Shot. Now backs <laughs> it up. Doesn't Sorry. cover the shot rock. Leaves her a corner. Okay, good. Better. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, I think yeah. 
All right, Kathy, again, a team that's uh, scratching and fighting for their life. Peterson uh, against uh, the flurry carry combination. Well, there's a small port there. That's as you look at it. Beth's trying to navigate that to get as much of her own as she can to remove the one carry stone. It would be for three. We're not oh. there. Caught it by. Tap it back. No. Oh. Well, who is it? Oh. One yellow. Oh. One yellow it is. Thank you. There's a double peel work for Team Jones. Now there's a pretty good I shot at a double here. You could be lulled, I think, Cheryl, if you're yeah. Manitoba at the moment. You get your one. Now you've stolen three in a row not to take off those two guards out front. Just leave them there because we're doing so well. But, you know, as Russ says, you leave them there and eventually you'll get caught. Yeah, you have to, you know, you've been playing such intense ends, but now it's four nothing. So it's kind of turn around, look at the scoreboard. And that was definitely a scoreboard call. Just open it up. Oh, sorry, Caitlin, my bad. Good. Caitlin knew it, just brushed a little too much early. Oh, nice, Caitlin. Great throw. Great shot. Good butt. Nice little wall there now. It's tough because you got to get to the inside and then there's a hole through the middle. Hey. You can see the urgency with both these teams, no matter what the Plus score you is. Just do this. That hey, I like Caitlin's that. there. If I don't make this double perfect and stay in front of the T line, we're going to be in trouble later. Have to come this way, sir. Okay. It, it's that respect that mm. you just know what's coming. <laughs> and neither right team's going to go away. Sorry? We need to tap, tap it a bit. Regular draw speed? I think regular draw speed. I think so. Close. Line's Eight. good. Eight close. Line's great. Seven. Eight. Line's Full good. line. Seven. Full line. No, we're Seven. there. Eight. We're there. Eight. Eight. Hard off this one. Full line. Line's good. 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 Line you want to hit the top one. Kiss it. Oh. Right in between. A little thicker in the top one. You flop right on top of those yellows. Or try. Now Caitlin's skilled enough to kill this red one, so he'd like to kill a yellow one too. Take away that wall. So get it thin. Right. Should run pretty straight here. Better. It's not such a wall back mm. there. Thanks, so. I like the good pair. Good sweep. Great brushing, buddy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Up to speed here. Okay. Um, just a little less than that one. It's a touch, yeah. Enough to get there. No. And they'll sit the uh, shot rock, or second shot, pardon me. Can't buy one, Vic. No. You? That was a really good effort, but the, again, the hardest shot in curling. That's why that wall was important. When there's no wall, you're aiming at one rock. Sorry. Just smudge coming in enough to take that a little extra inch of curl. How much weight? Uh, firm. Okay. A couple choices here. Dead on works. Or you just pick it clean, which is, I think that's what they're, they're going to try. Yep. Yep. Please. Yep. Right to it. Hard. Hard, Lee. Hard. You got it. You got it. You got it. Hard. Hard. Weagle with it all the way. And, oh, gosh, just picks it off the top. Nice call. Great 
What a difference a day makes, Vic. Mm. Jennifer couldn't buy one in both games yesterday. But what did you say? She needs a little help from her friends, and uh, she's getting some of that. She's getting really good play up and down the line. Is she ever? You look at 98% for Lisa Weagle, 90% for Jocelyn, 95 for Caitlin. It just makes the game that much easier. I'm feeling very well I don't hate it. The curl. And already given up three steals here. Of course, that 19 final against Chelsea Six, Carey. Seven. Okay, line's good. Seven. Oh. Oh, Eight. Oh, Eight. Oh, Nine. Round it. Yeah. Yeah. We're there. Yeah. Yeah. Line oh, only. Oh, oh. Line only. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. That's trouble now. I'm expecting them to. Like they're throwing what I want. It's great here. You got it. Is it a little smoother stone? Maybe. She's not quite getting the curl either. Three to one, the defending champions lead. Anderson sitting one, and that's all. But it's behind cover. It is. Carrie elected to go around because she couldn't see the shot stone, and it's made pretty buried. But with that kind of ice, Loria is obviously playing a tap, and it is her that is second shot. So if she's able to tap it out, it's for two. Close. Yep. From yep. the yep. Laval, yep. 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 Glenmore Close. Curling Close. Clubs, yep. Loria Saint-Georges, yep. a three-time yep. Quebec Close. junior champion, national yep. silver medalist in Six. 18. Ooh. Sit down, though. <laughs> you got to sit down, so and it will, and that will be for the just outstanding week. The weight control and just the pressure shots. Well, even going to the break. Line's good. Line's good. It needs to finish. Line will get there. No, it won't. It needs to finish. Line's good. Eight foot. Eight foot. Eight foot. Doesn't have to curl. Bite the eight. Needs to finish. Line's great. Finish it. We're there. Split center. Well, it gets I guess, half of it covered. Sorry. Yeah, Jennifer was right that time. She wanted to carve it over, and Caitlin didn't think he had to. It just Caitlin's defense, if it slides six inches farther, it's perfect. This is to center? Okay. So, but once you get in this inner stuff, it doesn't curl. Okay. Yeah. They've thrown like a couple hacks and stuff, and just gradual. Okay, back four? So, yeah, I think okay. so. Alberta, Saskatchewan have gone to the uh, the break. 4-3 okay, Alberta so. after a uh, blank in five. Okay. Just got to kind of chisel it, hey? Yeah. I might need back eight to move it. Okay. I'm pretty dead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice shooting. A little slower here. Right? I think so. You still had any water to stop. And I'm sorry, yeah. We haven't thrown in a while. Well, this is the ball game here. I think just a hair more, yeah. It's definitely there. I think so. What did she change it to back eight? Back eight. She was going to throw less than that, but she's a little worried that when she hits the yellow and it won't slide through the slide path far enough. Yeah, yeah. I would agree. Yep. Nine. Nine. Yep. 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 Nine. Ten. Whoa. Yep. Nine. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Nine. Hard. Ten. Hard. 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 Push. Sneak please, it by please. this one. Shot, Rachel, oh, and they Rachel. did. Oh, well, finally, if you're Rachel Holman. Not much has gone right so far, but on the board as we go to the break. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. By Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. By Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like it. 
and by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Rachel Holman and the team from the Ottawa Curling Club, along with their uh, their coach, Brandy Purvey, the six-time Canadian champion, four-time world champion, find themselves trailing four to one at the break, just now getting on the board in five. Well, exactly. Holman team has had the hammer four times and only scored one point, and it's really been Team Manitoba, the pressure they've been applying, and they're helping Jennifer Jones. She made a brilliant outturn freeze in the third end, gets a steal there, makes an intern draw top four. The fourth end gets another steal. Jen herself, 98%, pushing Rachel Holman's numbers down. You see her at 70%. The Bow River. There's some melting. Not a lot, but spring is coming. Saturday, we're celebrating Curling Day in Canada. From backyard rinks to playing in a barn, how Canadians have persevered to play the game they love. It's given us some uh, opportunities to hurry hard. Plus, how women continue to make their mark in the sport. The main goal is go to the Olympics. And a farming family gets the surprise of a lifetime. Dream come true. Saturday, 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 Pacific. Oh, yes. Lindsay Hamilton, Bob Weeks will be your hosts. 5.30 Eastern time on this curling day in Canada. From under the bubble, this year's Scotties, the first of four events, followed by the Tim Hortons Briar, the Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship, and then the OK Tire BKT Tire World Men's Curling Championship. It took five before Ontario found the scoreboard, but they did with a single in five. And so as we welcome you back, Ontario Manitoba is our feature. We go to six and uh, Manitoba for the first time since that first will have the last rock and they have the hammer playing the Yellowstones. Didn't seem like they needed last rock. They just <laughs> needed Jennifer's rock. The uh, flurry carry wild card team with two and five. And so they have the lead at the break. It's all you. Line will never be an issue. Split center is ideal, but just top four. Ninety-eight percent. Lisa Weagle on the shot she missed. She asked for a tight guard in the fourth, I believe it was, and she slid into the rings by about a half an inch, or she'd be under. We said that about Jen's. There's some tough markers here. We said that about Jen's last one. She was 100% before she threw her last shot last end, and she over undercurled by at what a half an inch. Yeah, yeah. She's 98%. <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> Think you can go a bit. Yeah. Out there. Switch. Switch. Two and a half. Three. Line's good. Sarah, line will be good. A little deep for Lisa there, though. That's not ideal for Manitoba. Weagle goes to the back edge of the four. Okay, that's good. Then. And the hey, center sir. guards thrown up now by Ontario. Yeah. Well, you know what Ontario is up to. They're going to throw the two guards. So Lisa's job was to be uh, close to the button, but definitely in front of it. So she won't be happy with that first one. Top eight here. Line's never an issue. Might need a bit of finish on this one. Okay. You know, I said really to you in the break, good. Cheryl, that. Now oh, Manitoba gets no, the no, hammer no. back. Ontario looked really sharp oh, when they were in that yeah, first. Four four. Five, two, no, and no, I thought, yep, you know, yep. they had Manitoba four, four. chasing in many yep, cases. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe Good, this will turn it around for them. Maybe without Last Rock, they'll do things a little differently. Uh, you know, I think you're right in the sense that you get to throw those two center guards. And if you can get a rock, it'll only take one shot to get a steal out of this end. Worse, you come out of it with a force and try and do something with a hammer next end. It's a better result. You just can't let Jen convert with a hammer to more than one point. A, a force is OK. A steal would be exceptional. I think so. Because I thought, Russ, that Ontario did have lots of stones. I mean, they had them collected in front. They could have done, as you suggested, maybe a, a split and roll in behind 
the corners they it was there for them they just didn't use it right no i i yeah uh, you know it's easy up here again but uh, that would that would have been the call open you open it up and give your chance to skip a chance to score as opposed to playing a run back against three and then they could have sat one buried and put another one in the paint it's really nice when you can play an offensive call and a defensive call with the same rock hard kick it back Yeah. Scoreboard says hit something. No, she wants trying it. Okay, you got it. Jocelyn's so good at these two. It's... They haven't had the best week, but you know, Jocelyn's for this skill yeah. set at Second Stone, she's one of the best in the country no. for sure. No! No! no. Shooter. Ah, shooter, shooter, shooter. Sorry, Jocelyn, my fault. Runs it by. Rolls that shooter almost out of play. Yeah, tap it a hair, same weight. Yeah. You think this side's gonna run a bit slower? Or no. It's straighter, so. Okay. No. I think it's the back button. The broom. Sorry. Back button. Okay. okay. Similar. We can sweep it. Similar weight. Yeah. You can manage it. Yeah. yeah. You see how that back shot of uh, Lisa Wiggles is starting to actually help Ontario. Ontario it, tapped one there, and then now they can use it. And I'm kind of giggling to myself because three, three up with hammer. If Lisa was playing with Holman, Seven, six. right? Yes. They would have played two ticks. Yes. That's yeah, funny. Seven, Lisa doesn't yeah, throw any ticks yeah. anymore because she's playing with yeah. Jennifer Jones. Go, go. Close. Go. 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 Here we go, hard, and Courtney. Hard, 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 taking such pride hard, hard. in that ability. And look at that. Right to the oh, lid. You're not supposed to make fun of him. He's just over there Brandon, giggling to himself. Okay, just <laughs> leave him alone. Is that good, Josh? Hard, Josh! Hard! Yeah, but look at this. There you go. It's exactly what Kathy was telling us about how Courtney has worked for that lower body strength to get right up on top of the, the brush handle. Whoa! Gotta grow. Gotta grow. No! Whoa! Peterman. No! Hurt on the red. No roll, no roll. Hurt on the red. Oh boy, and she'll get them both going. That a girl, really nice, Jocelyn. Really nice indeed. Nice <laughs> Is it ever, Jocelyn? Almost had the double peel in her first, and they just swept it too much. Boy, that's definitely your skill set, isn't it? Oh, and reading these angles, would have loved to clip that back yellow. It wouldn't have hurt. No, you're getting picked. I am getting greedy. Sitting two and only one guard. It makes it a little tougher for Rachel here. She's gonna be a little close. careful. Seven. Lean it. Yep. Yep. Six. Seven. Close. Seven. Seven. Eight. Seven. Eight. 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 We need eight. We're eight. Eight. There. Yep. We need eight. Come yep. there. Yep. Hard line. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> Hard line. Hard. No. Well, stop. Stop. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. No. Let it come up. Girl. Good. Okay. Emma Miscue. Down to it, but it's behind the T line. You didn't clean. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. Watch it, Lisa. Watch it. Oh, just got okay. over. Nice Voids the jam in the house as well. Guard, touch center. Not an easy uh, freeze to peel. Three. Tough to get that out of there. The light. Two and a half. Two and a half. Lights go a bit. Line's good. Just Power clean. Close. Two and a half. I think you're there. Three. You need to switch. Three. Need to touch center, guys? Might be four. Can't, can't. Gotta go, yeah, Sarah. Okay. Gotta go, yeah. both of you. Whoa, whoa. Not in. Yep. Yep. Go, go, go. Oh. Go, go, go. Touch line. Good. Three shots, Sam. Really nice to cover it, Emma Miscu. Three shot. Three shot. Sweet. 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 But Ontario doing what they hope to do. Manitoba with last rock no, 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 and no, no, has no. them chasing a little yeah. bit. No. Shot rock. 
frozen back forward. Back, Cheryl, same spot. They are. I think you play this out and they'll throw that until probably Rachel's. Somebody's going to make a switch gears. Same um, spot? Eventually and, and play the draw. Mm, it could be Jen eventually because if Rachel on her last one throws kind of top four, how's Jen going to score? That's just it. And you, you try to play the run back and you double stuff and you steal two. I think. Uh, if it's three. accessible, she's going to hit the back one. If not, three. I think she'll draw. Uh, there's your uh, part of the problem today, okay. just 50% on her draws. Oh, it's over curling a bit. Two and a half. Two. It's coming down. Okay. Two and a half. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, whoa. whoa. Two and a half. Just got to sit. Just let it stop. It's over curling a bit. Okay. Spot reach. Okay. Tighter well, again, here's on this two on one here. situation, Five right? You've got, uh, okay. if you're Manitoba, you've got two. Sweet. To her one, wouldn't this be the time to go? Well, it almost is because I think Jen knows where Rachel will go and she might not have a shot. Two choices you could try to throw the peel, pick it out of there, which is not easy. The angle's not perfect for Jen or the freeze. I, I like it's tough, but I like this call because she's been so accurate with the draw weight this game. Is there room, though? Just looking ahead here, if she pins this, freezes it. You need the button. Okay. Is there a room for Ontario to get in there? The same? I don't think. Last? Yeah. I don't think so, Vic. <laughs> I just about <laughs> called you Russ. Uh, you know, hey, <laughs> you guys call like me this? Rick. He can call me Rick. Oh, that's Good safe field. then. <laughs> that's, sure, that's close enough. Rick, I got one of two of you yeah. covered. I don't think so. It's <laughs> close. Might leave a little separation here. But if you could ever, I thought they might go the other turn and maybe tap the red and, and unlock the yellow. Because it's 98%, all four Manitoba players I'm curling 90% or better. Right on the tee. Line. Line's good. Good. Bite the tee. Line's good. Peterman. Room. Doesn't have to curl. Line's perfect. We're there, Kaylin. Yep, yep, line. We go, Peterman. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 Can't bounce. Oh, 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 oh. Can't bounce. Not bounce. And we'll cover the pin. Good judge. Yeah. Good throw, Jen. Pretty good, I think. Yeah, great throw. Nice shot. It's very good. There is room, I think, uh, if you tap it. Yeah, you have to move it. Yeah. Or if we go thin, we have to just go past it. In a 3-3 tie, second half is underway. Quebec against Team Canada. Well, Carrie Anderson hit on her first and rolled, but too far. That's the Yellowstone you see in the 12-foot. So Laurie Saint-Georges went around, but she is deep and it actually started to come out the other side. So for Carrie, can probably yep. see about a yep. third to a half. Yep. This is the hit. Really hard. Oh, here comes that guard. It's not far off that center line. It's gonna be a struggle. Big scrub, get it by. Oh, they did. Ooh. And right there for the single. One yellow. Oh, oh, yeah. Quebec giving them all they can handle because that's that's a massive yeah. game for well both teams obviously. Yeah, yeah, right now of course uh, Quebec sitting at that four loss mark in, in some trouble. Got to win, and then of course Canada tied at the moment, but the seated second behind uh, Ontario, both at nine and one. The dead freeze or the tap? Eight, seven. I think they take either to be honest. Yeah, okay. That's probably all dependent on line, and you might use your brushers at the end. Same time, let's drop in on uh, Alberta against Saskatchewan. And a chance to really blast this game open. Alberta lying two. That Yellowstone biting the four foot Sherry Anderson's last stone coming deep. So this is a draw for three. And look at this one. Move it far enough. Oh, she did. She had enough room to tap it back, and Ontario is your shot that's rock for the that's moment. That's Final stone on the way for Alberta's Laura Walker out of the Savile okay, Community Sports Center in Edmonton. Okay, it's got no backing on this line. You need a good chunk of the four If you need to go, Taylor always. I think Taylor should just go 
Taylor McDonald, Rochelle Brown on the brush. Three. Kate Cameron calling line. And there it is. <laughs> I was like, Ugh. even if the weight's good, we still need a good chunk of the forefoot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Jen. Wait for the T-line. Okay. That, that was the risk, Russ, with trying to get shot, is that you gave a little bit of separation. And there's a chance for two here. Yeah, you'd, you'd say no, but Jen just threw it. Yeah, you're right. Just the same shot that we just saw with the other turn here. And Rachel's great tap. Deserves another great tap here. Not easy, but it's oh. there. Speed's got to be dead on. Less. Final stone. Jennifer Jones, Ontario, appears to be the shot rock at the moment. Nothing yet. Peterman or Weagle. Lisa, try. Try, Lisa. Try to work it over. Help that leading edge. Now, Peterman on the carry. Can you tap this enough? Tap it. Sit down and spins away. And now that one is gone. And who is the shot rock? It's yellow. I think you're right. One yellow, but I'll take a look. Yeah. <laughs> Good throw, Jen. Yeah. Curls a bit more. Yeah. One yellow. And one yellow it is. Yeah. Manitoba with another single. Five one. Manitoba leads it in our featured game here on the, this Saturday afternoon, the last day of round robin play. So Ontario looking a little better there, looking better having without having the hand, forcing Manitoba to chase and uh, just missing the opportunity makes a wonderful last rock draw, then rolls off shot rock at the back of the four. So Ontario and Rachel Holman now with the hammer playing the Redstones. So just to remind you, 18 uh, teams began play Tigers. a week ago last night. Two pools of eight, or two pools of nine, pardon me, in an eight game round robin. And then the top four in each pool crossed over. And coming into today, Holman, Anderson at one loss, and Holman rated and seeded number one because of the win over. Anderson. Teams at three losses. Walker Jones in the best position. Four losses. And you can't afford a fifth. And remember, the most important thing is no page playoff this year. Just the top three teams will advance to Medal Sunday. Hey. Well, Steve Holman's been good, you know, when. Jones has the hammer. They're not letting them convert twice, and they force them. It's just they can't seem to do anything with the hammer, and that's really been due to the execution by Jennifer Jones and her team. They're just forcing them to really tough shots. And that uh, little note there as they stuff it at the back gets them both. Very nice. Very nice. And rolls it to the other side. When we came and we looked at the pools, yes, A was considered... The, uh, the the more difficult of the two, and it's uh, shown here once we've gotten out and crossed over in the uh, eight games we've played so far in this championship pool. Pool A teams are seven and one. This is a good start to a tough okay, day for Manitoba with okay. you know Ontario now and then Anderson Team Canada okay. tonight. That's the only wrinkle I think with the two pools. Is, uh, I, I, I like the fact that half the teams go home that aren't having a good week. You have a cut just like in golf. The top eight here are super, superb games. Every sheet, all uh, all four games. You're going to get the right winner this way with only three teams uh, making the playoffs. Somebody's going to get a bye, probably either Holman or Anderson. But I like your call. you come here, like you, there's nine teams you don't even play. Yeah. Okay. 
And then if the pools, it's so hard to guesstimate. It's yeah. you're working with humans here. It's so hard to get the pools just right. And some people like a maybe a Krista McCarvel, uh, they would be ranked. They're not here, but they would be ranked quite low, seated very low, and they're really good because okay. they, they don't play on the tour enough. Just to update the the scoreboard, there Beth Peterson picked up a single, and so now uh, tied with the. Uh, Flurry carry yes, yes, team yes, out of the yes, East St. Paul. Yes, yes. Peterson at four losses, needing a win to stay alive. Well, there's your split we talked about. Opens up the front. Sinks one in there. Really good shot. Thick half. Yeah, but thick half, almost three quarters, probably. Thick half. What kind of weight? Hacker board. Good hack. Yeah. Can you Solid hack. First? No, I don't know. One. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just have, just half. Okay. I like that speed. Do you like this ice? I think so. Yeah. How much, Kayla? Good hack. I like that. I think you should be able to hold it. Yeah. Sorry, Caitlin. Sorry, Caitlin. Good. The apology for what? Overbrushing. They just, uh, Jennifer anticipated the curl. Up to speed up. Yeah. Okay. And it's uh, getting a wee bit straighter as the week's going along uh, inside out. And uh, yeah, they just overbrushed it. It's my go to. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just why I ask. I just I, I don't know what that is. I just because you end up saying it so often. You do. You wonder what am I apologizing for? <laughs> we'll, we'll find something. Okay. Really early. Just Joe. We're there. Next All right, we're wide open. Go, 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 go. Around they go. At this point in time, I'm assuming, Russ, you have to ignore, huh? You just yep. have to, you have to force, and take the chance. Yeah, and they, and, and they got, they've got nice setup here with the double corners, so Caitlin can't see much of that. Yeah, Running a triple, like triple right. reds isn't fun. Okay, I roll in? That's yeah. okay. Yeah. They got a little lucky. Same, uh, same weight then or no? I had 11 and a half on that one. Okay, so I hear less. So a little bit less, yeah. With Caitlin's last one, that it ticked, it didn't get it out, but it got it out in the open. If they have to hit that red on the far right, they can. But well, this you, is tough. So yeah, you can't see much of this one. No, I mean, and, and you got to move it a long the only, way. Sorry, the only other thing we could do is this. Yeah. Dead nuts. It might jam, though. That's Looks the only. Like it jams mm -hmm. to me, but. Oh, this depends where you put it, I guess. But. I'm okay with that. A bit of space, yeah. You like this time. better? Do you want to go down? I, do you want to go look at it? We've got time. I think it, it can't look great from the hack for Caitlin. No. That's always a concern. You probably ro you might roll for a guard. Yeah, like if I hit this here, it's probably going between them. Those. I think that's a little safer. Yeah, this isn't easy. No. I have like just an inch. Okay, let's play this. Okay. So much can go wrong. That's what they want to do. Yep. But it could end up doing yep. that. Yep. It could end up doing Did you like the out? that. Sure. There's all kinds of things that could not quite work. And when you're up four, I, I don't know, maybe you're different, Cheryl, but I started thinking that way. It's like, how can I, how can I ruin this? Well, can you ignore them, Cheryl? Or do you have to play the, this wall of stones on the left? You could ignore them, but you're leaving Ontario a pretty good opportunity for a couple here. and. It's, it's a scoreboard call. You look at the scoreboard and you think, we've got to try to remove some rocks and open it up. Yes! Hard! Hard! Weagle. Hard! Goalie! No roll, no roll. 
What are you going to get? Oh, nice try, Just oh, ran it by. My goodness. Nice throw. Now the so shooter, close, look at where it's ended up. It covers that stone top four. True. If it ever ticks, watch the red on the, this red right there. If it ever kicks off of that, there goes the yellow and there's three red in there. Oh. 11, 10. With, with Holman's hitting ability, you, you hate to 10, 10. let the reds pile up on the sides. Whoa, That's why they, they made a run at it. Almost to the nose, I pushing it, it back coming. and through, sitting underneath. Okay. Do you like that? Just gotta make sure I roll. Yeah. I think so. I say if we don't, we make the roll and she's here. another one in. Do we ever just try and roll here? Yeah. I think I like that. Like with board? Okay. That's a quarter, eh? Uh, hair less, I think, yeah. Do you guys like chasing this one? Our first thought was playing the doubler, just. The double's hard. Or yeah, just rolling. Really steep. But you can get low with the chase. Being bored. I guess even if I don't roll perfect, then she rolls low, eh? Because if we go, she might make that double. She's going in again. Mm -hmm. Which, if we were a tough here? one, yeah, yeah then true. She makes this double, and then that that brings that one into yeah. I don't mind chasing it. We've seen the line a few times. Yeah. Pack, pack, do whatever you're feeling. Pack. Okay. Gotta make one go away. Yeah. Uh, the way the skipper's playing, whatever you're feeling is. <laughs> Everybody's kind of standing out of her way to let her decide. If we can manage this one. This is a yeah, spot that's been moving, so I, I think you can definitely get under your own center guard there. All right, Jen. Key is uh, don't roll out. You've got uh, a lot of red in there now when you're when you're up three. That's why I think I like this better than playing the yeah. top one because yeah. you could roll out right. on that one quite easy. Seventh, skip Please. stone. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jennifer yep. Jones. Oh, yes. Oh, yep. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, here comes that oh, guard. Oh, got it by oh, there. Yes, you do. Oh, oh, now, where are you going to roll? Oh, 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 where are you going to roll? Hard, 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 hard. And it'll spin oh, just that little bit too far. Oh, we brushed it. Let's drop in on Quebec Two. against yeah. Team Canada, Kathy. Well, a very similar situation on Lori St. George's first stone. She actually tapped it and rolled to lie yeah, two. Carrie hit line. and rolled perfectly yeah, under. Yeah. But trying to tap that stone well, back yeah, a little yeah, bit could be for yeah, two. Yeah. It's not on the corner, is it? It's, uh, there's some separation? There is separation for sure. Emily Riley, Cynthia St. George on the brush. Yep, Haley yep, Armstrong yep, calling yep, line. Yep, 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 oh, it's yep, just yep, a fight yep, yep. to get shot rock. Oh, and they That's will right. right there. I think she grazed that top guard. It tapped and just spun off it. Otherwise, it over curls. You bet. Sorry, I was just light, eh? The deepest we could go? I think so. Bad break, Jen, almost. Yeah. Was shot stone. Yeah, you didn't need to roll underneath. You just had to just stay. Got a little cute on that one. Go, Sarah. Which means we're Wilkes there. will take that. Edge trying to help it over. It's trying. 
You gotta go, Sarah. Go now, go now, go now. Yeah. 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 All the way, all the way. That anticipation of when the break will happen. And they're gonna come up, it looks like they're light. That's very unlike them to leave that. The, just came down hard in the slide path. But it's not, and, uh, we well, haven't Brad talked about anyway. this week, then, Russ, you know, the anticipation of the brush. We knew it's always going to come late. Yeah, as, as the game wears on, it, uh, it starts to slow down a little bit in that center center path. And uh, I jokingly said the other day, but it might be a good idea, maybe the draw to the button for both teams and the two practices and all of like two ends worth of rocks, you should be drawing to the edge of the eight foot for the hammer. Yeah. Walker, Alberta leading by four and what one? Ooh, sitting two. Sitting two. Sherry Anderson was facing three on her first try to double, just got one. And Laura Walker removed that stone. So it is those two. This is now the draw to the four. Pretty close, I think. Isn't it? You're running a little. Whoa, it's running. Running a bit. Curling now. All you guys, sweet for tea. Solid. Line's oh, good. Hard. Easy. Hard. Top button. Oh, Top oh, button. Here. Oh, 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 off, oh, off, oh, off, oh, off, oh, off, yeah, off. Yeah. And rolling it underneath, not yep, quite. Now you have a look. Yep. Yes, it is one yep. for Anderson. And a must Good win judge, to guys. stay alive. Any of the teams at four losses and not a four to fifth. Boy, this is the six-time Canadian champion Jennifer Jones we're looking at today. Just an exceptional roll behind here. There's no chance at a deuce for Holman. Yeah. Perfect brushing call by Caitlin, too. Just slides by this back with the red on back. The yellow just gets it by and gets the roll besides. Oh, this is tough. We need a hair last time. And this is only for one, is it not? Yeah. It is. What a great recovery. That end could have gone the other way. Well, the fact that that first stone of hers bogged down and they couldn't drag it far enough. Yes, right? that's all it was. 11, clean. Yep, yep. Yep, 10, 11. had trouble with Last Rock converting to get the deuce. Uh-oh. Plan B. He's got to cross it now or they're in real trouble. And there's the tap up and there is the tap through and now it's one, two, and three. Wow. Oh man. Oh man. Tough day for Ontario. I think we're rock stars because we're gonna rock the ice. I'm popping it so much. <laughs> My dad started to call me Smiley Lori. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh St. George and the Quebec team from the Laval sur le lac and a Glenmore curling clubs and with uh, Manitoba at three steel eight to one they lead we're going to uh, turn our attention move a couple of sheets over and check in on this game Quebec against Team Canada in a four four ties we play in eight Team Canada that's Kerry Anderson the reigning Canadian champions out of the Gimli curling club yep. Who come in with a record of nine and one. This is Quebec's third. This is Haley Armstrong. And they come in with a record of six and four. So must win for Quebec as it is for any of the four lost teams on this Saturday afternoon. So Canada and Anderson from Gimli with Last Rock playing the Yellowstone. Yeah, I think so.
My theory? Yeah. Kathy, you've been watching this more closely than us. What do you think? It's been a, a really, really good game. It's not been a situation of Carrie Anderson team missing. They've been set up a number of times, but Lori has made some wonderful, wonderful shots. And when she's had hammer, she's put herself in a position to score. It's uh, Carrie's got her hands full. Well, look at that. Uh, I think it was N3. Yeah, Kath, she made the triple and rolled right across the sheet. Buried, yep. forced uh, Canada to a single. And now I'm piling them in and uh, Wait was good. sitting one, two. Okay. Like on the yellow. And a two, three it is. There's a fourth shot there in the red. I don't have all of it. I have three cards. I don't know. We... All three of those go if you could hit like it dead on with speed, but they can't. Here. Why not? They can't see enough. The guard's in the way. And they can't quite... Uh, you could do it okay. with like a board weight, but then you're not gonna get, you know, move the the granite around far enough. You could still try it, sure, I'll get the so. back two, yeah. jam, jam the top one. And your shooter would roll away, but <clears throat> make some Team Canada stones go away. This is just as tough because you, the yeah. guard's in the way, and if you a little wide, uh, you tick your own and you lose power on the red, yellow one. Haley Armstrong is their import. Yeah. Comes uh, from the Ottawa area. Ontario Junior Champion, National Silver Medalist, losing to Alberta and Christian Streifel in 17. Oh, I was going to get them off the forefoot anyway. Oh. <laughs> Pushes them back. <laughs> Helped a little. For sure. Yeah. It's tough to outdraw those. Now there's all kinds of room. Oh, she just. I thought she was by. Yeah. Talk about it. <laughs> Would you ever peel a center guard here? Be patient. Might not be a bad call. You've well, got hammer. The way he just knows this guy. The way Skipper's been drawn. <laughs> that one? Oh, I thought it might take a crack at the double. Well, if, I, I, yeah. If she does that. You got the. Five. They have this right now. Yeah. What's your other well, thought? My Can thought, we tap yeah. this straight? That's what, here? that was my thought. Or just tap it like a hair high. Isn't it easier to just draw right there and leave those to use? But I'd like let them play to, this and then make this double? That's not bad, eh? Like, they've just been getting quite lucky. I just don't want to group too many. I know, yeah. yeah. Well, we could make her make one. I mean, yeah, I don't know. If we make of, that, she might play she's got this the double and get the double that, and roll under. So I don't okay. really want to leave so it off. So what, tap? I was thinking this, tap it to here and just roll here. Okay. Or you just draw here. Yeah. I that's... like to tap and get one in the four. four foot. Yeah, I think like T-line wait and sweep it in the, for the tap. Okay. This yeah. is a, like to get at a jail rock fur carry. Uh, you got to be a little careful with tapping this up. I, I understand the premise, but you go maybe here and you leave your yellow one there when you tap it. Now you don't have a raise and you just know what uh, Lori's going to do. She's going to come down like that and there goes your whole end. You, you kind of want to leave yourself a, a slash, a run back of some kind. Right now, they've got one. Yeah, and, and they even looked for us at drawing top 12 on that left side. And again, you take away any opportunity mm -hmm. you have if Quebec comes around. I, I'm with you. I, I guess you don't. Like the first call. I guess you can't see as much of that as I thought. So you can't throw a lot of weight at that yellow one. But you know, if, if there was a rock on the button, Kerry's capable of tapping that back for three or four. And they're what elected to do what play a small tap here? Yes, okay. it, it, it might not be wrong either. It's just sometimes you just get unlucky with the angles here. Right, Val Sweeting. She too, remember back to back silvers 14 and 15, losing to Holman, losing to Jones, and finally was able to break through a year ago. Really nice, and really nice as so she bumps it to the pin. Not a girl, good shot. It's really steep, so it's good. Nice roll. Good call. That's good. Yep. Thought she said an interesting thing, Cheryl, when she came down initially. Gotta be careful because it's down. Looked at uh, Carrie yeah. Anderson and said, "Be patient." Yeah. It looked like Anderson yeah, wanted to play something maybe a little bit more dramatic, misveiling the pressure of the moment, trying to get rid of that red stone, and she said, "Just be jamming. patient." It's all yeah. it, just the setup shots. She's really just trying to say to Carrie, we just set ourselves up a little bit here. We don't have to chase anything. We can 
Okay. Don't have to try and get it right now. Score our big end. We can yeah. do it on Carrie's second or her last. Remember the plan before this end started. You're thinking, let's get two. Mm -hmm. So many times you think, oh, you know, oh, we get a chance for three or four. You don't get anything. Just kiss it, right? I'll, I like more than that. Oh yeah, you got it. I think they're playing like a back line redirect here off that right hand one. Uh, Val's over curled a bit. If it, Val's have been a little wider, A, it guards this in off, and then she'd have that run back. Which one is she going after? The, the far uh, right hand one as we look at it, Vic. You got it. Almost a heavy draw redirect. Back heat. Back heat. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Just back heat. Whoa. Whoa. Emily Riley on the left. Whoa. Cynthia St. George on the right. And now Riley with Armstrong you calling you line. Go. You really got to go. And oh, oh, leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there and okay. bump it up. Go. Leaving Team Canada sitting two. So let's check in on these two oh, wild card teams. Beth Peterson from the Assiniboine is still alive here as she's at four losses playing the, the flurry carry combination. Well, Beth guarded on her first stone and Chelsea also guarded, counting on being able to play an in-off, but Beth hit and rolled out on that rock so that Chelsea doesn't have that. So she's trying to navigate the port, needs to get to the hearts for the second point. Yeah, she's got one Lines undercover goes. stapled to the lid. Chelsea okay, Carey right, taking yeah, over this uh, team of uh, Tracy Fleury from East St. Paul. One red. And we'll settle for the single. Nice try, Chelsea. What are they trying that here? That would have been close, actually, yeah. Another tap? Or are they going to take I away the sure red rays? Really dangerous tap. Uh, I think, are they not maybe trying to take away the rays? No, but not with a guard because there's not enough ice. Looks like she's throwing like a boardish or hackish. That's a tough tap. Maybe tapping her own uh, tight to the uh, back eight. Same way as center you. line. Oh, that would make more sense. Back eight. Whoa. 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 Right, they are. That's it. Same as Val's. Whoa. Same shot Val yeah. played. Close. Yeah. One more time for Shannon Burke and Brianne Mayer. And here we go. We'll just nice. tap one more Big in there. Good. <laughs> really good. That's nice. That was probably Quebec's opportunity to get out of this is maybe play that intern draw freeze and can't even get shot now. I think, uh, I think um, Carrie said had enough of this. Lori St. George drawing the pin every time you give her one. I'm taking I'll try to do it. <laughs> Well, this is curious because you you played that red stone to the it? edge of the eight for a reason. Now, I mean, I, I know they got two in the lid, but if you angle it back, can you not get rid of one of them? Yep, no question. But but you better save your thrown rock, the raised rock, because you lose your shooter. Time out. Maybe just tap wait, uh, tap it in there, Vic, and uh, guarantee a, a two like instead this? of not a whole bunch more. I like that this is a catcher. At this point. Giving up a two would be pretty good. Yes. It, I mean, it's ten, but we kind of have to plant it, right? Very true. If we That's don't, it goes here. Yeah. Though, is what I'm saying. So it's not terrible. Is this crazy? I know. I know. That's what. So if we do the splash, we don't have to do it. I don't think I'd be playing this with weight, Russ. I just tap it. Sure. Same shot that you just saw. Yeah. Just more options that way. What do we like? 
I like that. I like the freeze. Me too. I like the freeze. Ouais, mais là, euh, ch gamme, shooter contre 5, je veux dire. <laughs> the trick with this shot, if it's how the ice has been on all the other sheets, yep. later in the game, it's been sitting on it. this side and they haven't played it at all, so it will be figuring out what you're throwing for the draw weight. But you're conceding, I'm just going to pick here. You're conceding two. If you freeze it properly, you're conceding two. If you play the angle on yours, you may get rid of one and leave your raised stone right there. Or, if, though, if your angle doesn't work out, you could give up a bundle. It's a hit for six. Okay. So I, I think this is two right now. If you conceded two, you'd be pretty happy, I think. And this is, um, she made some nice hits this game, too. Don't get me wrong, but this is her forte I'm for sure. This bread me. and butter, this shot. Let They've been able to me. judge them. I'm They're probably. always close on, on weight. Riley, close as a stone. Line's Cynthia Saint George out in front. Line's good. Line's good. How's that for weight? And down to it. Wow. There you go. Look, if you can draw, you can win, and uh, they proved it. They really have. Good sweep. Good sweep. Now they have to play that tap again. We can go if we get straight back. I guess you could throw a little bit of weight here and go for the four. Yeah, I took a hairless ice. They're not going to, but uh, like that? Yeah. could do that. High and it, yeah, we but they probably don't want to throw it very hard because they solidified the two. So I think what they're going to do is throw a little softer weight and try to get it there somehow. In a 4-4 tie, Team Canada looking over, I'm sure, at the game, Ontario right. and Manitoba. Seeing how Ontario is struggling, coming in both of them at nine and one. And uh, if Ontario should go on to uh, lose that one, Manitoba, uh, Alberta, or Team Canada rather picks up a win, they would be in first place. They have two in their pocket. Carrie Anderson, Mayor out in front. Virtured on the brush. Get it by the guard, they do. Have you got enough now to angle this up? No, the over curl, and that's he'll settle for the deuce. Well, you're right up. Let's go, Kathy. Update this game, Alberta and Saskatchewan. Well, that stone that is shot right now belonging to Sherry Anderson was her final stone, a draw around the outside. No way to follow it down and an opportunity here for three for Laura Walker, trying to angle off her own to get rid of the Saskatchewan stone. The Alberta champions from the Savile Community Sports Centre in Edmonton. Oh, lovely. I think it's a really good audible by Kate. Yeah. Hey, Cameron calling the uh, line. And that's a couple more. And 9-4 is the final. So Alberta, with the win, stays alive at 8-3. Saskatchewan, Sherry Anderson, Nutana, Saskatoon. Go to five losses and are eliminated. The game we started with, of course, was Ontario, Manitoba. And it ends an off day for Ontario as Manitoba Thanks for the game. really takes it to them with another steal of one and eight. Nine one is your final. And so Ontario falls to nine and two. Manitoba eight and three. And uh, here's the game story. Numbers for the two skips certainly, but the way it started out, I thought Holman looked sharp. They took the game to Manitoba, but since they just could not find the way. The opportunities were there, but Manitoba could, or Ontario had the opportunities, but could not find a way to beat a very, very good Jones team today. Game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. So we turn our attention, of course, to this game now. Quebec, Team Canada. And Kerry Anderson there in the background coming in with a record of nine and one. With a win, we'll put a little separation between herself and uh, 
Rachel Holman in Ontario. And it's a must win for Quebec as they come into this game with four losses. I can go soon. No, 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 no. 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 Just back, back No, it's going to overthrow. Back no. Back Cam. Oh, curl a wee bit. You can't throw a pile of weight at it. Yeah. Safer call to peel. So the Brigand Mayor with the uh, advantage over Cynthia St. George. And as we check the player numbers. Shannon Burchard. She was a first team all star a year ago <laughs> to Scotty's. Very nice. Good. Good. This is She's yet to play in a Scotty she didn't win. <laughs> no. She, uh, of course. Won a gold last year and then two years previous she was replacing Caitlin Laws who was playing the mixed doubles with John Morris and Kun Chong. And they, uh, she won gold and they won gold. Okay, well then. Pretty good track record. Think about it. No, has to move. Step Running. T-line almost. It's really trying. Hope it's in there. Freeze. Freeze. Uh, it's Do not it. there. Do it. It's not there. Do it. It's not better there. to leave some separation here. They didn't, they wanted a guard, but don't take it back any further than you have to. Make the double. So with the results we've already had on this last day of round robin play, Holman's loss drops her down to two. Walker win, Jones win, still very much alive. Now, but as you see here, you know, you can't afford it. You get the five and you are eliminated. So it is must win now for St. George and also must win for Beth Peterson, who's playing right next door against the Flurry carry team. And well done. Will it spill it? And away it goes. Such a good hitting team. It's that's the problem for Quebec is giving Team Canada the lead. Now they get to do what they do very well. You know there was you had to feel for Val Sweeting when she lost those at back to back, and then you know get, makes the joins Carrie Anderson. I think too has become very comfortable as a third. I think so. That's what Carrie thought and I did too from last year Scotty's win that uh, it was a lot of Val just settling into the third position and knowing how to support Carrie and even the information that goes back and forth between the front end and the back end. It's an art at that position and the communication is key in supporting Carrie and I think she felt that. Zero ice for Val's intern. Trying to run it straight back. I think you'd have trouble holding oh, it there. Oh, oh. Yes. 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 Burchard, yes. yes. run it back. Oh, and does right, that's good. push it out the back. Right, now so. rolls over. <laughs> really good, Val. Good, carry. good throw. Okay. So tonight is our final evening of round robin play, and we will focus on Carrie Anderson. Who is leading here? Will she take a nine and one record into it, or ten and one if she wins it against Jennifer Jones at eight and three? So we join you again at eight thirty Eastern time. Gotta go, Sam. Gotta go, Sam. Hard. Gotta go, Sam. Do not roll out here. Oh dear. Yep, 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 okay. Yep. And it will Hi, as they. Push those stones one out. They are sitting the shot rock. That's fine. Just not throwing them well. It's okay. No She's struggling a little bit. You got it. Haley Armstrong out of Carlton Place, Ontario. From there you see. Sweeting with the uh, the advantage. Okay. Just nose it. Yeah. Okay. Ten? Yeah. Okay. You got it. Big shots. Can you get a roll out here? It's it's uh, obviously a chance to get around or to go for the blank, depending on Quebec's choice. And uh, they're still right in this game. If they could force 
Anderson Kaporska hey, back here five. helps a lot. As we see, four losses, and Beth Peterson stretching here to keep herself alive. Well, she is, and for Chelsea Carey and her team have put a lot of pressure on Beth this particular end. She had to make an angle run in to get a couple off the forefoot on her first. Her shooter rolled open, and when Chelsea rolled out, it is a draw, needs full four against three. It hasn't curled at all. Jenna Loder's calling line, but boy, they've... Uh, Back Stay right off it. here, Catherine Dirksen and Brittany hard. Tran. Hard, hard, hard. Watch out. And we'll finally settle back edge of the eight, but it's a steal of one for the team from the East St. Paul Curling Club, skipped this week by Chelsea Carey. Come around, no choice. You have to manufacture two now. With only uh, Team Canada center Lots guard to work with. Line's good. Support. Sins rock. Whoa, whoa. Line. Line. Lots We're of right room. behind Lots it. This room. really has to curl. Lots of room. It's down. It's down. It's down. Drop. Yeah, I think you got to go to bury it. You got to go to bury, gotta bury it. it. Yeah. You got to go. I'll go with her. Okay. Go and go. Go, go, go! Let's see, guys. Okay. Perfect weight as usual. Just to kind of just a glass. <laughs> little backward motion on the release there. So Anderson looking very good. The hits letting Saint George down. The player numbers are brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Once fouls comfortable that it's by the guard because that's job number one and they might yell whoa and roll to the center here. Final stone for the defending oh, champion. Yep, yep, yep. Anderson yep, yep. and her team yep. from the Gimli yep. Curling yep. Club. Yep. Heavy! Whoa. Virtue oh, yep, yep, the early yep, brush. Yep. Little roll, just a little roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 oh. A little roll. Oh, wow. And okay. so it will be three that Saint George faces with her last. Okay. Okay. It's a way to play it. I mean, you can That's never hard. come anywhere near that yeah. guard. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, then you know what? Give credit to yeah. Virtue de Mayer right on top of it first. Okay. And we knew that. Okay. We'll get. Well, then we'll back off, let it break, and we'll be safe. Yeah, it's not uh, when you, this level of curling and it's, you have your brushers that are also fully engaged. They know exactly what has to happen too. And if they hold it on the line, it doesn't come close to that center. And they, they know the call on the shots, the four skips out there. Everything around the edge of the eight. So a good full eight foot. This is really uh, wider than she wants. Uh, that well, means it's quicker. They might have to it's play the audible off this top yellow here. It's coming down. We're back 12, back eight. Uh oh. Close, yeah! Yeah! yeah. It's, coming down. it's coming down. Well then, leave yeah. it then, leave it then. Oh, they were, she was looking. That, there's your audible. That was Haley Armstrong go, 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 hoping to go, go, just go, get go, that go, little go, 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 go. wick. And it will spin to the back. One yellow, one. And one yellow it is. She was looking to play it. I just didn't see it. The rest of the front end didn't want to do it. Seven four, Team Canada. <laughs> the Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. By Home Hardware, here's how. By Sponge Towels Paper Towels, made for real life messes. And by OK Tire and BKT Tires. Well, we started today with Ontario against Manitoba. And Manitoba ran away 9-1. to one, So, Henning Ontario and Rachel Holman a second loss. Jennifer Jones keeps herself very much in the 
picture. So now we're turning our attention to this one. Quebec at six and four against the defending champions, Team Canada. Kerry Anderson comes in at nine and one. Four lost teams must win to keep themselves alive. We've already seen Saskatchewan eliminated with a loss to Alberta. So down by three, Quebec with Last Rock playing the Red Storm. Shannon Bircher throwing the second rocks for the defending champion. Now she's trying to rearrange. Oh, There's a bit of a it. stagger left by oh, Brianne, and so they're going to try to rearrange this a little bit. Uh, so right now, it's really Keep helping going. Quebec if they ever came around those two yellows. Hard. Randy Furby uh, was hard. two up. Just David Netto in the Briar hard. final lost to uh, Mark yeah. Daisy in that same That's situation. Okay. Hooked oh, rocks in the rings. Well, they're still slightly hooked. Mm -hmm. A little light. We were just having this conversation, Vic. Uh, do, you, do you throw one in, uh, two one. in? Now they've thrown Might three in. Is it really helping Canada? And, and everybody you talk to has got a different answer. Like, uh, we always used to throw them all through. And just, now you've got a double peel. Reezy double peel, and the most they ever score is two. One in makes some sense. Yeah, I never minded one in and then the next one through. Just because of what happened here, that second one that you throw in, they set up a pretty good uh, stagger for Quebec. No, just, just a foot heavy. You got it, Shannon? Yep. Now make these go away. Yep, one. Oh, oh goodness. Go, go, go on that one. <laughs> and now where is go, it going to go? go. go. Yeah, it's going to hang right. around. Okay. But they uh, oh. are sitting the two Excuse at the me, moment. <laughs> Canada without <laughs> last rock. Well, that's even much better in the middle, yes. really. Clipping that red, and you mm -hmm. kind of rearrange the yellows, and you got one corner is gone. For one and two now. So. No pocket <laughs> anymore either. Top eight. Haley Armstrong on the left, yeah, Cynthia St. George oh, on the right. Is, I mean, mine's really good. <laughs> Sim curl. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Hard. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, good, Sim. Uh, M. M. <laughs> what do you like? They need to get three to tie. You chase it, and if you get the guard, that's fine. Or just hit this back one. Or just take the guard yeah, out. Yeah, they can't really get another one under the hey. guard there. No. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like this too. Rafael. Okay. Do you like the other turn? No, this is good. Cat. What about ripping the guard? Not yeah, we talked about. Okay. Not wrong. You got I heard wrong. them say though they can't get another one in, but if you ever went wide side, you could. But nobody's played that shot, so. Oh. <laughs> oh. Easy. It'll go. It'll yeah. go. Yeah. Yep. I think you could yep, get yep, away yep. with both Clean. this one Clean. or the corner yes, guard. Yes, yeah. Nice. Oh. Get hard out. And okay. it'll hang okay. around. Right. Again, it's one of those times where you often say, if you're Team Canada, you like? look at the scoreboard and just start eliminating stones. Sure. Eventually, you're going to run them out of rocks. It is there. It's that time. And you have an open hand. Here, guys. Yeah. Four. Okay, you got it. You do four here. Ninety-five. Nine, Ninety-five. Yeah. Let's go, Haley. Yeah, you normally don't hit a back one like that, but Val's absolutely right. You're killing that rock, Whoa. even if uh, Looks heavy right now. you know they wreck on uh, one. There's still going to be a wide eight. open hit to win. It's running. Nice back eight. It's running. Well, no, 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 no. Only, only no thrill. Okay. M. Or back, M try back it. eight. And try it. Hard M. Hard M. Here, this whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And I am sick. Okay, okay that works. Nice. Just peel it. Yeah. Mm. Send it through. Yeah. yeah. 
kill this one. Carry looking over his shoulder at that back one. You never know. No. Oh, oh. Yep. 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 Hard. Hard. Clean. Yep. Yep. Clean. 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 Whoa. Clean. Nice, nice. Yeah, the execution is terrific. Good. Last I looked, they were at eighty eighty percent as a team. I don't know what it is now, Cheryl. Uh, eighty eight. Eighty eight. Yeah. How wide is uh, I? That's Sorry, impressive. Were you to kill that one? Uh, yeah. okay. Just a hair. You were just like firm on it. Quebec style of play. You you've got to make some tough shots. Yeah, they they're swarming the forefoot. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're drawing the Mine's button. Good. Happy. Happy. All you guys you gotta go for line. Okay, line's good. Close. You gotta go for line. Yep. Yep. T. Yep. T. Yep. T. yep. We're bouncing. No bounce. We're bouncing. No Freeze bounce. It. Freeze it. No bounce. We're bouncing. Got a curl. No Line, bounce. Line's Line's good if it stops. Oh. Got to go. Nice Second shot. Good judge, Sim. Yeah. Tough three, shot. Quebec to tie. Pardon me. Sorry, Vic. Yeah. Toughest yeah. shot in the game. Mm. Get the weight right, the line right for the perfect freeze. <laughs> it's, it's, like, Gary it's like against Rachel. Like she's it's dead. Rachel Holman. It's Gary Arneson. <laughs> 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 Thanks. Good call. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, let's go, Kara. Half a rock should be good enough. All because it was three inches too deep because the line was dead on. Reds are hanging around. The question is if we can bring them into play. Got a little fortunate there. They rolled to a spot that there's no yellow double. So I have to. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have to play a double. Yeah. This one? Oh, I think she's. No, we're shot over this one. So she's one, two, or three. Do you think? I think so. Couple yeah. of options. Okay. I, 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 my sure. original thought, Cheryl, was play this double. That's my first thought. And then like uh, maybe roll yeah, over here, same. and then yeah, Carrie is like not the, going yeah. to chase that one. End, yep. <laughs> so she would have to play this so double. We're rolling to here, right? Yeah. They're going to hit the so. shot rock roll to the center line. Okay, I think you almost have to play a double. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you roll to the center line, Carrie either plays the short run or she hits that wide one. If she rolls in, you can't. You, there is no double for your final shot. Control. Whoa. Yes. Control. No. Whoa. Whoa. Control down. No. Sin. Hearts in. Uh, Hearts in. Yeah, Hearts in. Hearts in. Let's go push. Hearts in! Cynthia St. George. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And we'll lose the shooter out the back. Sorry, just Make one go away. And Team Canada will pick up a 10th win. Sorry, just firm. Yep. Let's go I should have called the audible. You got it. Yeah. My bad. Could have got it. Go. St. <laughs> George has uh, said she's loved her uh, time here. She's uh, studying journalism right, at like the uh, University of Quebec at Montreal and uh, getting a chance to use her English a little bit more. And Clean. 
And that'll be it, as uh, Quebec game. says. Good game. Good game and walks by. That's the social distancing protocol of this year's uh, Scotties. And a 10th win for Team Canada, Carrie Anderson. Now 10 and one, make the final seven to four over Quebec. And Quebec has been eliminated with a fifth loss. So one game remains on the ice. Oh, and that's there in the uh, in the background there wearing the black vest. Team Canada coach is uh, Heather Nedowin, of course, the two-time Scotty's winner of 98 and 12. Our game here now, Flurry yeah. against Peterson. This is a battle of the two wild cards, or two of the three anyway. Chelsea Carey. I just think there's way more yeah. skipping the right team the yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. of Tracy Flurry out of East St. Right. Paul like against Beth Peterson I mean, I and her right team too, from yeah, the Assiniboine Memorial in like, Winnipeg. Kathy? Bad, well, the challenge in this end is there's just simply too many rocks in play. All four timeouts. This is the fourth that has yeah. been utilized this end. Yeah, right to it. Okay, so my gut is right there. Okay. That look close to you? Yeah, you got it, Chels. Make this will be gradual. Yep, you got it. Whatever, something ever went wrong with this one. There's a hit for six. <laughs> just snuggle one in there somehow. You'd, you'd okay, we'll like to be closer than that top eight foot rock for sure. Okay. Okay, full eight. Chelsea Carey and her team from the East St. Paul Curling Club have already been eliminated at five losses, trying to play spoiler now against Peterson, coming in at six Eight, and four. four. Line's great. Gotta be there. Line's great. Gotta be there. Go, go, go. Heads down. Make, make sure. All you, line's great. Line's great. Line's perfect. Make yeah, sure. Right Selena Negevin. Calling line, Liz Fife on the yeah, left. Right to it, right to it. Kristen Good. McCush on the right, and Good right judge. down to it. Here, Beth. Yeah. Great judge, guys. Really well swept. Would you ever take Great on judge. the feather double? Oh, personally, no. This is no gimme, and you don't have hammer in the extra end. That'd be hard, though. Oh, it would be. I guess it depends how you've been drawing. What a great shot by Chelsea Carey. So you need a bit of the button. If you're Beth Peterson, along with Jenna Loader, who's calling line, Catherine Dirksen, and Brittany Tran throwing the good. lead Easy stones and brushing on the right. Put it on the tee. Sweet for tee. Put it on the Line's tee holding. for two. Really holding. 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 Line's great. Line's Tran, great. Tran, of course, Go. coming in too. The team the for the Scotties replacing Melissa Gordon. Watch it now. Watch it now. Needs needs to sit down. And it will go too far. One yellow. One yellow it is, so they'll get their single. But needed two. And Beth Peterson will see her. Scotty's time coming to an end here as she suffers a fifth <laughs> loss. Six to five is the final. And that's what the record is now of Peterson and Harry. They are now six and five. We have one more draw left. We only have a few teams so left. Like down, the Team Ontario trying to, I'm sure, uh, forget that game against Manitoba. They dropped it 9-1, so that was their second loss. But with that win, top of the table, the defending champions, Kerry Anderson at 10-1. Ontario losing a second. Walker. Jones at three, and those are the teams.
we know that Anderson is into the playoffs, leaving Holman, Walker, Jones, those three to play for the remaining two spots. And it's a virtual meeting with the media for Team Canada. Back with you tonight, 8.30 Eastern time, and our featured will be Carrie Anderson with her win. She is into the playoffs. Where will she finish, however? And then Jennifer Jones, convincing win over Ontario, and she sits at 8-3. and three. So we have four teams remaining. Anderson is in. Three teams will play for those remaining two spots. As we narrow the field down here at the Scotties, Back with you at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Remember, now it is Curling Day in Canada. And that is uh, coming up right here on TSN. So till we talk with you tonight at 8.30, thank you for joining us. The Scotties, the Canadian Women's Curling Championship, is here on Canada's sports leader, TSN.